July the 4th, 1988. At last, the Space Shuttle Discovery rolls out to Pad 39B. Dave Hilmers, one of the Discovery crew, is here this night. Each one of us here tonight had a dream that one day a shuttle would once again make its way to the launch pad to launch Americans into space. <laughs> <laughs> Only hours from now, Hilmers will be one of the five astronauts who will blast off from Cape Canaveral. NASA first scheduled the launch for February, but there's been delay upon delay. For two years, Horizon has been following the crew as they get ready to fly. This is the diary of those two years, the diary of discovery. Three seconds before liftoff, the crew will hear the roar of the three main engines. At T zero, they'll feel a punch in the back as the two solid rockets ignite. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Six seconds later, they'll clear the tower at over a hundred miles an hour. Roger your road. Houston now controlling mission control confirms roll maneuver started. At 70 seconds, maximum dynamic pressure, they'll remember the Challenger exploded here. Standing by now for solid rocket booster separation. When the solids separate at two minutes and five seconds, they'll know that the 145 design changes have worked. We have MRB set. Roger set. Before Challenger, the astronauts most feared a failure in the main engines. Stand by for rest Miko. Miko main engine cutoff. Mark it. Mark. Press for Miko. After main engine cutoff, the empty external fuel tank, big as a jumbo jet, will be cast adrift. And now, after eight minutes, the orbiter will float in the blackness and silence of space. Discovery's commander is Rick Hauck, cut classically from Navy cloth. His flawless command of the 14th mission of the shuttle, the spectacular rescue of two broken satellites, made him an obvious choice. His pilot, Dick Covey. Like Hauk, a Vietnam combat veteran, Covey flew with Mike Lounge on the 20th mission. Together, they rendezvoused with a tumbling, malfunctioning satellite still packed with volatile hydrazine fuel. Lounge manipulated the remote arm while their colleagues in spacesuits repaired it and manhandled it back into orbit. Dave Hilmers. Nothing is known about his flight three years ago. It was classified. The Marine Lieutenant Colonel represents the secret military side of past spaceflight. And Pinky Nelson the civilian astronomer amid military pilots. If things go badly in a few hours, he may have to don his spacesuit and make repairs in zero gravity once again. He's done it before, on the first of his two space missions. Nelson